If you're a photographer like me and you use a 6300, you probably love it, but if you're a videographer, there's two problems you have to be concerned about. One is overheating, and the second is battery life. And the project we're going to discuss today may help handle both of those. What we're going to make today is a battery replacement, an extended battery for the 6300. This is the device that I put together. It's simply a project box. The box has some connections for uh, an extended external battery to be inserted. There's a voltage regulator inside the box that provides about 8 volts out uh, to the camera. Uh, and uh, it works perfectly for powering the camera. First thing you need to have is a dummy battery. And, and this is it, a dummy battery. Uh, they're available on eBay. They're available uh, you know, on Amazon. This one I got on Amazon and I'll... I'll put the link down for, for it. It actually came with an AC adapter so that you could use it to power off of line voltage. I don't ever really do that, don't find that to be a great value, but certainly it's useful to have those things around if that, that fits your needs. This is the battery I used in this project. It's a Talent Cell rechargeable 6,000 milliamp hour battery. It provides 12 volts and I got it for use with my field monitor but um, it certainly has enough juice to be able to take care of both the camera as well as the field monitor, and that's how I've set it up. Because the battery puts out 12 volts, which is needed for the field monitor, we've got to bring down the voltage to someplace around 7.4 to 8 uh, or so volts uh, to match what the normal battery provides to the camera. I don't really want to put 12 volts into the camera, although perhaps we'll be able to handle it. I just don't want to do that. So this is the voltage regulator I purchased from Amazon. It is a variable or adjustable voltage regulator and can uh, take in 4 to 40 volts um, and um, you know modify the output to whatever voltages that you need in a range between 1.25 and 37 volts, which is perfect. We can do exactly what we need to do. If we look at this image here, we see that the voltage regulator uh, not only changing the voltage and keeping it where we want it to be, also has a, a voltage indicator right here on top of the circuit board, so you can actually see what voltage you're you're adjusting for. It has this little set screw uh, on top of this potentiometer that we turn with a small screwdriver to set the voltages, and then these blue uh, screw down blocks can be used to connect wires, uh, both for the input voltage and then for a cable that goes out uh, to uh, connect up with the dummy battery. Now, I didn't use these screw down connectors. I wanted to have a much more secure connection. I soldered them straight to the board, but you don't have to. You can do it uh, either way and it should work just fine. Drill two holes in the end of your project box to fit the connectors. Connect wires up to your plugs and then connect them to the input and the output voltages on the regulator. Remember, the center connection of the plug should go to the positive uh, connector. It's all wired up. You've got the uh, connectors for the voltage, and I've got the circuit board there. And we can adjust the voltage that's being provided on the output by, first of all, pushing this button here to show both that's the input voltage, that's the output voltage. And there's a tiny little screw right here that adjusts the rheostat, a potentiometer, and we can adjust the voltage down, and we can adjust the voltage up. And in general, around 8, 8.1 volts is where I'm going to keep it because that's about the voltage that a freshly charged battery in the Sony um, will be. Uh, seen as. So I think that's a, a good place to start. The dummy battery is in place. I have the dummy battery turned on. We can see that the camera is operational and has a very reasonable uh, appearance to it. It's reading the battery is 100% and this is working fine. That does it for this project. Hope it works out well for you. Remember, you make any modifications at your own risk, but uh, fairly straightforward project that I think most anybody can do. Have a great day.